Welcome to the Slick Show. I'm your host, Johnny Slicks. Today, I have some bad news for you. You are getting scammed, but don't feel bad. You, along with all of the American people, are being scammed. And it's not by who you think. It's not by your friends or your family or that neighbor down the road that you just don't like, you know. It's by your government officials, people that were elected, the FDA, the USDA, OSHA, all of these things that were put in place to keep us safe Something happened, no longer trying to keep us safe. They are now trying to get the most amount of money out of us while they still can, while we're still listening and doing everything they want us to do. Now, Johnny, don't go on this huge rant, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be talking to you specifically about health, about things that we put in our body and things that we are putting on our body. Now, many of you guys might remember the old movie Super Size Me back in the day. That kind of opened up our eyes to maybe the food pyramid is flawed. Maybe the way that we're being told to eat food is not right. Maybe there's an agenda behind it. So a lot of us switched away from eating that type of food. Unfortunately, not enough of us because I still see Chick-fil-A with lines out the friggin' parking lot. That's wild to me. But did you know that putting things on your body also have very, very detrimental health concerns for you? New health diseases are coming out every single year. I, I saw this analogy earlier and I love it. You cannot expect to get million dollar results by eating off the dollar menu. You, you get what you put in. So if you're eating garbage and you're expecting to perform like an athlete, you're not going to. You're going to perform like garbage. The same thing goes for what we put on our body. If we cover ourselves in chemicals, you're gonna feel sick, you're gonna feel nauseous, you're gonna have random migraines throughout the day, you might become short-tempered, short-fused, you might have brain fog. All of these happen from whether inside our body or put outside our body. Now, a few years ago, people were asking, Johnny Slicks, you say you're organic, but you don't have a badge from the government, why not? As ridiculous as that sounds, I did more research. I reached out to the NOP, and those are the people that give you the badges. They come in, they do the inspections. There are only three employees working for them. So they side contract out to everybody else, and that's where the money comes in. I reached out to them to see how much it would cost Johnny Slicks to get a USDA badge on every single product we offer in every single size and every single variant. 600 to $700 each per year, per product, per variant, per fragrance. If you're, not, if you're not convinced that that's somehow about money, that this is somehow now revolving around money, then I don't know how to explain this to you any better. $600 per product per variant came out to roughly around $65,000 a year. Now, at the time when I reached out to this company, we were on year two of this, of our Johnny Slicks journey that we're on. Would it also surprise you that the government allows, the USDA specific allows 5% of any non-organic substance to be placed into a product and not be put on the label. I'll rephrase that. I can put, according to the USDA, I can put 5% of anything I want in here and not list it on the label. Now, you're like, Johnny, that, that can't be real. Go ahead and Google it. Google 5% of inorganic substances at the USDA. I actually do believe Burger King got busted a while back because they had horse meat or grass or they had something in their burger and everybody all the consumers in america were grossed out by it but nothing happened because it was less than five percent so the usda and the fda said you're good keep doing what you're doing burger king i just saw a commercial that said uh dine like a king who's on a budget don't be that guy do not be the king on a budget figure your shit out <laughs> i don't eat better use better products so Johnny, what's the solution? What do we do? We're being scammed by the government. We're being scammed by the USDA. I can't trust any product. Here's what you do. Look up the company. Look up the people that are making decisions in that company. Figure out who they are. Listen to how they talk. Listen to what they care about. Find out their passions. It's not a lot of work. If they do not have a face, if you go to a company and you cannot find a person who makes the decisions for this type of pomade that you found at CVS, do you think they care about you? Do you think that maybe they just buy it, sell it, fill it with whatever, and hope that you buy millions of them? Probably. Things take work. Moving away from a problem 
to find a solution should not be fast. Things that are quickly found are quickly lost. So put time into what you want. Look at case studies. Look at your skin type. Do research on the companies you're already buying from. Support American Made instead of China Sourced. Find these companies. Instead of just scrolling mindlessly, do research that's going to be beneficial to your life and beneficial to the people around you. Take your health into your own hands. Do not listen to people that were elected because they were elected. Uh, 2020 has showed us that that is not a real thing anymore. You need to trust people by their actions, not their intentions. Actions. Take accountability for where you are in your life and what you have going on. So bad news is everybody is getting scammed. The good news is there's always hope. There's hope. And I'm here to help you. So please leave your questions below. Share this with somebody who's probably not using the best products. Go ahead and take a product that you have in your household that your spouse is using, that your kids are using. Take a look at the ingredients. Take a look at the ingredients and compare it to who put a stamp or a badge on it. Take accountability and take it into your own hands. As always, guys, thanks for watching and stay safe.